Hey everybody, welcome to Ski of Velo. A big thank you to My Resource li uh, Library and Jeff Carlson and just everything they've done for Ski of Velo as we've launched this brand. We are in showroom 10135 on the 10th floor at the Merchandise Mart. And we'd like to take you through a little bit of a tour through Ski of Velo and kind of show you what we're bringing to the US from Australia. One of the things you'll notice is I'm the only one in here with a boring accent. Most everybody else in here talks much cooler than I do. So if you look at our space overall, what we're trying to do is show the movability and adaptability that we've learned from Australia and a lot of the things that we've done over there. One of the things I'd like to point out before I dive into product, though, is one of the really cool things about Schiavello is they've been around since 1966, so 57 years. They have over a million square feet of manufacturing in Australia. And everything that you see in this space is uniquely made from its raw form to its finished product in one factory at one location under one roof. So everything was curated for you just perfectly here at one factory in Australia in Melbourne. So with me we have Natalie Hansen. This is Rafael Tagani. He's the global president. Australian, not British. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get that right. <laughs> and Gareth Bennett, who's our head of learning and development. So this will be our hedge competition. So you can come in here and you hashtag Tanya, it's classic hedge, correct? Hedge classic. Hedge classic, <laughs> hashtag. And if you yeah, take a right. fun picture in the hedge, you can win up to a $1,000, uh, what's the chair? Chair one on one. The 101 chair, which is over here. Another piece, the 101 chair. The classic <laughs> over here. So please come in, and as you can see, it's a very fun piece. To just have fun with. When we come over here, this is our Crossy product. This is what we call our malleable team zone. One of the unique things about Schiavello as a brand is because we control everything and we make everything under one roof, you'll notice that all the colors are different. So we're not limited to a, a slim color palette. We have a pretty extensive color lab. And as you can see, we do a two-tone on the but every piece of metal that you see there was formed in one factory, and we can powder coat them all different colors if we choose to. But one other key feature, which you tend to forget all the time, yeah. you realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget a lot of things all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'll notice that many, you'll find a lot of um, uh, products through Neocon will have the square or rectangle shaped leg. We'll have a uh, round leg, as you can see, which has been part of our DNA for at least 30 years. That I'm, I've been in the business 30 years. I've, it's been in our business for that long. So just a slight subtle difference. They, subtle difference. they always <laughs> like to poke fun at me whenever I start bringing up square legs. It's that the U.S. has gone back 20 or 30 years, and we now have to design and get up to the round leg. 20 work. or 30 years. <laughs> Maybe 50 or 60. <laughs> And as we come over here, this is our new Valley product that we're introducing. Valet. Va Valley. You say it. Say it, right. say it. say it. Say it. The, say it with the Italian Valley. So you can do up to three different fabrics on this, and you can also integrate some power into it. And Gareth, any key features you want me to jump into oh, here? Yeah. yeah the, um, I'm going to stand next to someone who's got a microphone. <laughs> Yeah, the integration of the power was a really considered choice here, that it needed to be intuitive, and a lot of solutions in this category will have the charging in the base that, uh, of the unit, which is, we find a little, you know, hard to find sometimes, certainly not ergonomic, so the considered choice to be able to put power charging on either the left or right, uh, on each member of the Bali family, means that it's easy to find, it's convenient, and and much more suitable for when you pull up a little adjustable table if you happen to be doing any email or, or reading a document as well. So a really... Um, but just one, point out one product. small key feature, which I'm not sure we figured out, is the signature trim detail, or just purely on yeah, this particular on trim. Pardon? Yeah, zoom in on that. Let's as you can yeah. see, quite a qu quality detail, but also require, you know, requires some really good um, craftsmanship to, to create some such a detail. It's uh, inspired by... Um, tailored clothing, like pinstriping on, on a suit. So this that feature trim detail is available in um, charcoal, gray, or white. And depending on what you select can really make the piece pop as a feature or sort of uh, be a very subtle um, detail as part of that aesthetic. 
And this also carries through addition to the family also? So there's three, three in the range, um, yep. what we call the cove, the float, and the drift. Unfortunately, we don't have a drift on, on display, but the drift is also low back, going to the, to the floor, but more importantly, it has a concealed rollerball for ease of movement. Not big casters that you see most products these days. This is where I get stuck a lot of the time. You get stuck. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they lock me in here quite a bit because I go from la. Hello. It's like The Shining with Jack Nichols. <laughs> Schiavello is very, very gifted at making a product called the Focus Quiet Room. And they are rooms. They're not booths and pods. They're very, very different product. Our rooms, when you walk into them, Schiavello at its roots is a, is a construction business. So in Australia, they will literally build buildings. And they've brought that knowledge to the furniture industry with these rooms. So when you walk into these rooms, you actually feel like you're in a space. You don't feel like you're cramped into a little box in that psychological discomfort that a lot of folks feel. You don't feel these when you walk into the rooms. So just going back to the general contracting as we started as a business, we created our own walling system. So if you combine both the walling system solutions for general contracting, now the research and development that we do for and the work we do around the furniture, combine the two, you create a, a beautiful piece of furniture that is, is, a, is a craft piece, a handcrafted piece. You have to come try these out. And my suggestion would be go try a lot of the other products in the market and then come step into our rooms. And we're not even going to have to pitch. It will just be, you'll just feel it as soon as you walk into them. And this is another one of our rooms. This is where we started to show off a little bit. So we use timber. Well, the US likes to say wood. Australia says timber, which is much more elegant. Instead of? Instead of wood, veneer. No, aluminum. Oh, uh, oh sorry. Uh, sorry, you guys say aluminum, but aluminum. Okay. <laughs> that just means you can mark it up a little bit more because it sounds more sophisticated. <laughs> so this is all solid timber versus a lot of people use metals. They'll use laminates. They'll use aluminum. I sound terrible when I say it. Aluminum. And then we also Actually, wrapped question, it with a... Do they actually really know what it is? <laughs> yeah, probably. that's a good question. They don't know where it comes from. But this is the leather. So we wrapped the entire meeting room in a leather. Then one of the things Schiavello does is they also own a glass business. So they inset uh, alum aluminum mesh <laughs> into the glass. As so they to lie between so from the outside, you can't really see into the space. But it and creates a level of privacy on the inside. You can't hear him. <laughs> From the inside, you can see out really clearly. And this is called Jeff's timeout room for when I'm acting out. No, no, actually, <laughs> Scavello's timeout. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, 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 a range of um, displays here. And predominantly what you're sitting in right now is, obviously, you sat in, oh, you, was, you were sitting in uh, the phone room. We also have uh, next to this, adjoining this is a, our duo, which is another part of the standard component. But we also have this is a meeting room. The ability and the flexibility of the system enables us to uh, contract and expand a unit like this. So we adapted and tailored this particular meeting room for the space we have here. And that's what the system's all about, enabling us to tailor for solutions that unfortunately other, other, other products out mar in the market can't do. And because they literally make everything from scratch, if, if you look at where the power is over here in the TV, that can literally be placed anywhere in the entire space. And actually, this meeting room was tailored just for the, our space here, 10135 at Neocon. So for customers, they can literally take their space and tailor these to the exact size that they need them to be. But another key feature, we have automated uh, lining and ventilation. So no need to connect to the building structure. But the key feature of this, you can connect to the building structure. So have the already lining within the building, have the HVAC solutions and the fire correct, correct connected straight to the rooms, unlike many systems out there. I think the, the choice we made to have a no step floor is also really, really important. Um, the R&D to have no floor was vastly harder to develop than having a floor, you know, a built up sort of chunky mm. plinth which you've then got to step up into, which I think from a mobility access point of view, doesn't allow true access for everybody. So we made a very considered choice that not only did they have to be demountable and relocatable, but intentionally have no floor. And this doorway space and, and certainly the generous dimensions of this mean that a room like this is fully ADA compliant when it comes to wheelchair access, 
and one of our medium-sized rooms, the Duo, um, also is fully ADA compliant when it comes to wheelchair accessibility. So we're really considering that whole user experience when we're putting these spaces together. Um, and we have a great example of how we further tailor this around the corner. I think this is a cool piece of work. In the transitional space? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when we were designing the space, we obviously have our meeting room here, and then we have our duo room over here. We had a little bit of a space that we had to kind of tri figure out what to do with. So this shows Skivello's capabilities, how they're able to take a space that doesn't necessarily have a perfect product for it, and then tailor something to meet that space. So this is more of a transitional space that we created with curtains that makes it a usable space versus just a dead walkway. And it's purely from concept stage of developing this, the display, enabled us to create another space just combined to the existing um, range that we have in place for, t uh, the, the, for the focus room. And this is the duo meeting room, um, which is a complement to the meeting, but this is meant for more two people than it is that one, which is meant for six, up to eight. And this is what uh, Gareth was alluding to, that it may, it's ADA compliant. Obviously, depending on the furniture you have in there, it will determine if it can be compliant or not, but if you're taking the furniture out, it will be compliant to wheelchair access which is very important in, in when we design this particular room. And we come over to our, our climate system over here, and this really shows off what Skiavello is meant to do. Um, uh, can I grab a few of you to kind of reconfigure this You all this run away. Quick? What's going hey, on? Everybody get to work over here. <laughs> but everything is meant to be moved and adapted by the company, by the user, even by the facility staff, so you don't need to call in installers to do everything. Everything is on friction-based casters. You can't see them, but there's Actually, little roller balls might, on all these feet. Quick look at it. Actually, and everything it unplugs over? easy. Just to show, did the roller um, ball, um, I suppose, engineer it? You have, apart from getting this, you can see the ball underneath it. So we use that that uh, innovation across the seating, but also now our workstations. But this shows how you can take a standard workstation setup. See, the US likes to use a lot of linear, where Australia is much more organic. And you're able to, just as a team, you can move your space whenever you want, however you want, to fit your needs of that day. And you can see how they just created kind of an executive desk with Natalie. And you can also mix and match systems. So yep. that's our crossing. Height electronic height adjustable workstation system that has a one of our climate worktops on it working in concert with part of the climate program which is this table here and, and the climate channel so um, part of uh, Skibello's offering is that all of our systems integrate with all of our other systems so they are very complementary and as part of that consultative process we can sort of work out which collections would work best for the user's needs and for the needs of the project. And if I can also just finalise that the product, we started the program back in 2004, so it was the research that we had through a lot of our um, clients, and we're talking about end user clients who actually use the space, a lot of the A&D, a lot of people within the industry to help us create and inform us how to develop a, a solution like Climate. And if this incredible entertaining video doesn't get you in the space, <laughs> I believe this will. Uh. One of the beautiful things about Schiavello, not only do they own a massive contract furniture manufacturer, they're also a construction business, but they also have their own vineyard. Well, and I think there's only one color. Oh, uh, well, you know, this one was better available. But it was easier to grab. Well, and you don't you, want me grabbing you, these anyway because you, you, you you're afraid I'm going to drop them. So. <laughs> so we are doing a wine tasting with Juelo Wine in our showroom from 3 to 5 on Monday, and we'd love for you to come join us and see the space. Thank you. Thank you all.